Hello, my name is Tim Forns. I'm a principal scientist at Lord Corporation. We at Lord Corporation have decades of experience with thermal management. We've been developing thermal interface materials to manage heat in and out of the battery packs that make up electric vehicles. Battery manufacturers and automotive OEMs are often confronted with the difficult decision of what type of thermal interface materials to choose for their battery systems. There are two commonly used thermal interface materials that we've discovered with interacting with our customers. One is a liquid dispense curable gap filler. Two, a solid pre-cured thermal pad. Now one can expect very different manufacturing differences as well as end use performance differences between these two different product forms. We at Lord Corporation did a careful study to quantify the differences, at least from a thermal transport standpoint. One interesting finding is that the liquid dispense gap fillers are much more effective at transferring heat across a bond line than the thermal pads. Another interesting finding in this study is that the thermal pads are highly dependent upon pressure. Pressure is used to facilitate heat transfer across a bond line. What we discovered is that bond lines can vary as much as 0.5 to several millimeters in thickness. This variation in thickness can ultimately lead to variations in pressures. This is undesirable in end-use applications because the resistance variations can lead to uneven heat transfer across the battery module or the battery pack. Now, if you're interested in learning more about some of the findings of this study, check out our white paper on lore.com.